Welcome to the Acceleration Down in Incline Lab from Verona Area High School. Your materials will be a tape measure or a meter stick, a ring stand, and a ramp. You'll set up the ring stand and the ramp at a small incline. You may find masking tape helpful as well. Here we've got some students running the ball down the incline. They're making some mistakes. They need to put the book at the very end of the ramp because they're going to measure the time it takes the ball to travel 10 centimeters down to the end of the ramp. They've got the leading edge of the ball starting at 10 centimeters away from the ramp, and they're going to stop the stopwatch when the ball hits the book. They decided to have the same person let the ball go and stop the stop, start the stopwatch at the same time and stop the stopwatch. Here's the data that they got from part one of the lab. You can pause and record this. Here's some data from part two of the lab, and you'll be able to see this more clearly in the Logger Pro section at the end of this video. Here it comes. In this video, we're going to look at how to use Logger Pro to graph and transform data. I've already got some data loaded for the acceleration down a ramp lab. Um, first, I'm going to double click on the columns and label them. This is my position information, and the unit for this are meters. I'll double click on my Y. This is time information, and the units are seconds. Now, what I'd really like is I'd like to add a new calculated column. I'd like to calculate final velocity. And um, to calculate final velocity in meters per second, I'm going to take twice my position divided by time. Hit done, and there is my calculated column. I'll double click on it to name it VF so I don't forget what it's called. Okay, now I'd like to decide what should be graphed. And now I've got um, time on x and position, I'm sorry, time on the y and position on the x, and that's not the way that I would like it to be. So I'm going to double click on the graph itself. I'm going to go to axes options, and on the y axis I'd like position, and on the x axis I'd like time. I'll go back over to graph options, and I will title this a position versus time for a ball rolling down a ramp so that I can remember what the lab was all about. I want the point protectors on and the connect points feature off. And then I'll hit um, axes options one more time. And I want to auto scale this from zero. Now I'll hit done. Okay, now this graph has the elements that we need. It's got a title, y-axis label, x-axis label. I can clearly see all of the points, and there are no connecting lines between the points. My last step is to do an analysis. I'd like to do a curve fit. And for this lab, it says that I should do a power regression. So I hit curve fit, power regression, try fit, OK. And there's my power regression. Now let's suppose that I'd like to change this graph and I'd like to do a velocity time graph. I'll double click on the graph again. I'll go to axes options and on the y axis I'll choose final velocity and turn off the position. Now I can see my velocity time graph. I'd have to change my title of course to final velocity. And now I'm supposed to do a linear fit, and there's my linear fit. And I can print these graphs and share them with my group. 